Hello. It's JF Green Energy Concept. Welcome back to our channel. This video will make you understand the effect of weight and wideness of the flywheel on the alternator, and its drag reduction effect on the system. If you find this video helpful and informative, please don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. You can also share with your friends. This our experiment. We want to showcase around the W square factor of free energy system design. You can observe this system is the alternator we are working on. Now I want to show you the effect of the weight and also the wideness of your flywheel or the pulse motor. How to reduce the drag or the reaction of mag and coil using weight and the wideness of your flywheel. As you can see from this, the observe the has foot is open, it's not connected to any load, and you can observe the movement. The movement is free. Then let's try to short circuit the system. You see, it's come to a standstill and because of this bridge. You see how the movement is without any flywheel. Now, let's introduce this flywheel and the alternator. You see the effect. Now, we observe the movement of this stuff. Now, it is a bit free. But the energy that is needed for this thing to move freely is still on the high side. Now, observe it's moving very fast. No, no, now watch. So, start checking. Yeah. The first input here is still on the high side, but it's not as difficult as it is without the flywheel. That means adding a flywheel to your alternator can as well reduce the reaction in some cases, especially when the flywheel is a gyroscopic flywheel when all the load with the mass is virtually concentrated at the ring but from your from this experiment I believe you have seen how the rotation is so we know that the effect of this flywheel cannot be felt much unless you expand it because it is still reacting the reaction is still present there that is why this thing cannot rotate freely now we want to introduce a wider flywheel to observe how this thing will look like remember the wire is still short yeah still connected together okay. is wider as you can see though not as heavy as the previous one now you observe something a little effort even while the the, the terminals are still short circuit but they are joined together that is showing you the effect of this coil at this maximum load and you observe that the drag has been reduced drastically and the energy that is required to move this has also reduced thereby making this system a more efficient system a 
especially when the force is being applied from the outside, that's from the rim. So you find out that it is moving, it's a bit smooth, unlike when there is no flywheel, and also the more you add weight to the rim of this system, you now observe what we mean, what we are trying to what we are trying to bring out about the W squared factor of free energy creation. That is the effect of weight and also the flywheel that of the, the weight of the flywheel. That's the width of the flywheel. Because the wider the flywheel, the better the efficiency will increase and also the system will consume less effort to produce your further output fire. One thing you must also understand is the flywheel is designed to so have to put into consideration this wildness and the weight. Because if it is that heavy system, you must design it in a way that the flywheel will be stable because of the amount of energy that will store this flywheel have to use heavy system so that it will not pull out while this system is moving. And also using this flywheel, we have to make sure that it will not spin up to a thousand RPM because of the weight and the, the the wideness of the flywheel because the energy that will be collected from the environment will be massive so that you can control it so that one thing you must know is that the RPM to be on the safer side should be within 600 to 1000 RPM maximum I mean 600 to 1000 RPM instead of going very fast add more coils and make it a lower RPM generator in that, case, in that case we design a system that will give you just a moderate revolution and you generate a huge amount of energy remember we don't talk about efficiency we are talking about coefficient of performance of this system whereby you use lesser energy to achieve a greater output thank you even as we look forward to adding some other things to this system remember we still have other things to add thanks if you find this video helpful and informative Please don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this, you can also share with your friends. Thanks for watching, see you in our next video.